Yo, what is up my fellow Cancers? So this is what's going down for your weekly moon reading. We're gonna focus on what's gonna happen for you guys, or for us, I should say, during this full moon phase in Leo, transitioning into the waning gibbous phase in Virgo and Libra. So let's see what our cards have to tell us. That's January 28th through February 3rd, by the way. So it's about a week. So Spirit, what's going down for Cancer? Let us know the energy for this full moon. Okay, that was, that was too many, Spirit. Energy for this full moon for Cancer. Ooh, okay, we have the lovers in reverse. I feel like Spirit's saying now is not a time to be focusing. I'm getting a twofold message. Now is not the time to be focusing on like a romantic partner, someone else, especially us single cancers. It's a time to kind of tune into ourselves. But also the lovers is not necessarily just about lovers. It's about alignment, getting in tune with yourself, coming into divine partnership with yourself. So when I see this in reverse, it can just be a call to get back on your path. Get back, get back on back on your purpose. Like do what you know you're supposed to be doing. All right, what else is gonna go down for Cancer during the waning gibbous phase? Waning gibbous and Virgo phase. What's going down for Cancer? So in the next couple days, waning gibbous and Virgo. Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna take that one. There was like 18 that just fell. Spirit is just wild. So we have 10 of wands. We are almost at the finish line. Spirit is like, push through cancer, push through. You're almost there. You're almost there. You're almost releasing the burden. Whatever you're doing, keep going. Keep going, cancer, because you're, you're almost there. It's not that bad is what I'm hearing. <clears throat> Maybe you don't want to um, come completely into alignment with what you know you should be doing because you're you're just dreading it and you're like, oh my gosh, there's so much work to be done, but it's not that bad is what I'm hearing. What's gonna go down for cancer towards the end of the week? Ooh, coming into better fruition with, I, that's not even the right way to say that. Coming into better alignment is what I should say with our intuition, our inner selves, what's going on inside, getting in tune with the guides, yeah. Tune in, Cancer. Tune in for these two lunar phases, from the full moon to the waning gibbous. You should tune in all the time, but especially now is a good time for that. I feel like we might be getting some downloads about um, how to go through and push through with this burden, but I feel like it's going to have a really good outcome. All right, so what's going down for Cancer during this full moon and Leo phase, Spirit? Cancer. Wow. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> Nothing will come of this situation. Void of course moon. I love how I was just like, I think something really great will happen. Nothing will come of this situation. You know, I think nothing will come of this situation is talking about the lovers in reverse. So long as you're not following your path, so long as you're making excuses for not doing what you know you need to be doing, Cancer, nothing is going to come of that situation. Do what you know you need to do push through. Okay, this is for Cancer towards the waning of his phase, what's going down, you are good enough, full moon in Virgo. If you've been having self-doubts, you feel like you're not cut out for something, something might just be beyond you, it's bullshit. You are good enough, Cancer, full moon in Virgo is letting you know that. Okay, so what else is going down for Cancer during this full moon phase? This full moon phase, and this waning gibbous phase, about a week. All right, what's going down for cancer? That one wanted to come out. Trust your path. If you knew you would be supported, what would you do? We're just talking about our path, our passion. This is speaking. Get on your purpose, cancer, most definitely. All right, what else is going down for cancer? Right here. Three, cut seven, cut seven. All right. One, two, three, four, five.
five, six, seven. I do the lazy man's cut sometimes. <laughs> All right, what's going down for cancer during this lunar week, these two lunar phases? Thank you. The land between. It's time to take the leap, cancer. You're, you're like at a crossroads right now. And spirit's like, just push through. This one definitely wanted to come out. Time machine. I'm hearing time is an illusion. I feel like you might be dreading that something is going to take a long time, but spirit's like, it's not about the time. It's about the intensity you put into it. Time is an illusion. You can speed things up. All you have to do is get into the frequency. Get into the frequency of things manifesting faster. That's getting into the vibration of happiness, flow, intuition. Because when you think about like a clear stream or a clear channel, things just go fast. Things just flow through. But when you have a bunch of obstacles and roadblocks in the way, then it's a little bit more of a bumpy road. So make the process as smooth as possible is what I'm hearing, Cancer. All right, what else is going down for Cancers? What's going down for Cancers during... This full moon phase and the waning gifts phase. Mural, be your own first priority. That's exactly why I said with the lovers, my first instinct was to say, like, you might like be better off not really chasing after somebody cancer or like, oh, like trying to figure out who your person is. Like it's better to focus on you right now. This is about you right now. This is kind of like the Gemini reading. This is all about you right now, Cancer. Mural, be your own first priority, which is so funny because I've been <laughs> wanting to do a mural myself, and it's so wild this is coming out and saying this because I've just been procrastinating a little bit. All right. What else is going down for cancer, for this full moon phase, and this waning gibbous phase? Wow. These shuffles, man, some of these shuffles I've been doing have just been extremely sad. All right, what's going down for cancer? Teach, okay, what else is going, love it. Teach an opportunity beckons. Maybe there's an opportunity for you to teach something you know, cancer, but I feel like because you're teaching and because you're giving and you're, you're giving away your knowledge is what I'm really getting from this. I, feel, I don't know if this is a wolf or a cat. I just thought about the wolf moon too. That's crazy because, yeah, that's the full moon going on right now. But there's an opportunity to express what you know. And I feel like because of that, you're going to, some blessing is going to come to you. But you have to put it out there. Like, there's pupils, there's students, so there's someone that wants to listen to what you know. Put it out there, Cancer. All right. So what's the final messages for Cancer this week? You can tell spirits in here for sure. Final messages for Cancer this week. This lunar week, full moon going into the waning gibbous. Messages for cancer. Nutrition. <laughs> this is so funny because I definitely needed this message. Time to juice cancer. Time to get on your healthy wave, your healthy kick. Bliss is coming to you. Happiness is coming to you. And I think it's going to come to you even faster once you um, start putting out what you know. When, I feel like when you do that, when you start teaching what you know, when you start creating art, it could be any type of art. Could, once you start like eating right, really just raising your vibration, you're going to be on your truest path and bliss is going to come to you. A lot of happiness is going to come to you. So let's see what's going on for us single cancers. I hear shuffle five, cut three. Or six cut three. Three, four, five, six. So what's going on this week for us single cancers? One, two, three. Single cancers. What's the dealio? 
Wow, Cancer, literally as soon as I broke these cards out, Spirit like was like, you don't have space on your phone anymore. Just shut off the reading. As soon as I'm trying to figure out my singles reading, wild. Anyway, Spirit got jokes, okay. Okay, a lot, mastery has been coming out for a lot of people. Okay, interesting. So what else is gonna go down during this lunar week for Cancer Spirit in terms of our single love life? Wow, okay, thank you. So you have mastery, you've learned the spiritual lesson, chemistry, the attraction you feel is mutual, different pages, you and this person don't share the same vision. So what I'm getting actually, I feel like, and this is what resonates for me, there's someone from your past where there is an attraction, you guys do have chemistry, but your visions aren't aligned at all. And spirit's like, yo, stop focusing on that relationship that didn't work out. Start focusing on mastering your skills. That's what's really going to serve you this week, Cancer. And I feel like that goes in line with the lovers in reverse. There's, I mean, there's someone that you might be attracted to even. It might not even be someone you dated. But <clears throat> the fact that you guys have different visions right now, it's time for you. Your purpose would be better served. Your time would be better served serving your purpose getting on your mastery grind. <clears throat> what else is going on for your single cancer spirit? Shuffle once, cut twice, they said. Okay, single cancers for the full moon phase and waning gibbous phase. Thank you. Playfulness, to recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So this is about not only is it about getting on your grind, but also having fun. Because remember, energy and motion, our emotions, that's how we attract. We attract through our high-vibing emotions. We attract good things anyway. So we want bliss in our life, playfulness. There's definitely a call to have fun, Cancer. Don't be so hard on yourself. Have fun. All right, what's going down, Spirit, for our Cancers in relationships this week? This lunar week, that one wanted to come out. Retreat. What else? What else is going down? Thank you. <laughs> this speaks. Retreat. Time alone or in nature will help you recharge. Unavailable. This person is unable to give you all you deserve. So, <sighs> cancers in uh, relationships, it's time to pull back a little bit. Pull back your energy. Um, this could be talking about you. It could be talking about the other person. But there's that energy of pulling back, retreating, unavailable. I don't know who is who. This could be you. This could be your person. But time, I, I feel like you need some time to yourself, Cancer. Either way, you need time to yourself. Time to yourself so that you can master your skills and be your own first priority. What else is going down for Cancer? For Cancers and relationships during these two lunar phases, the full moon and the waning gibbous. I feel like that one wanted to come out too. And this one. And maybe this one. And maybe this one too. Codependency. That's why Spirit's saying you need to remain unavailable. I feel like this is your partner. Let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. Yeah, I feel like it's time to kind of like cool off with this person a little bit. I feel like you've been spending a lot of time with them almost codependently. And spirits like you need to retreat, spend time with your friend, friends, romantic feelings. Oh my gosh, <clears throat> my voice, romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. Chemistry. Chemistry again. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So you guys are definitely in lovey-dovey feelings with one another. You really like each other, but I feel like that's why Spirit's calling for you guys to like retreat a little bit. Make yourself not so available. You guys are, I feel like you're vibing very well, but there's also a time where you need to like just to have some space. And I feel like Spirit's saying, yo, use this opportunity of retreat and to be unavailable, to teach people, to really put yourself out there because you're going to get an, an opportunity when you do. So let's see what the numerology frequency for you guys for this full moon and the waning gibbous moon is. 
What is the numerology frequency? Drop. Ooh, we get snake eyes. I love it. This is mama serpent energy, snake energy. This is universal energy, the ultimate in creative energy, the ultimate in protective energy. So our guides are watching us, definitely. This is trust your path. Love it. Mural. Yeah, this is all about creation. Snake eyes, snake energy, serpent energy. I just knew it was going to land on that. That's so beautiful. And then also one and one. So one is self-starter energy. Go for it, Cancer. Go for it. And then two, it breaks down to a two as well. So also, this is very divine, the fact that it's doubles, but also with the number two, all about balance, harmony, alignment, getting back on track, Cancer. This is all about getting back on track. So if this resonated, like it, please. Give it a thumbs up. And I will see you in the next weekly lunar reading.